WJPZ FM and WJPZ HD1 Syracuse. Z89's got you covered with everything you need to know. Need to know. And some things you don't. Your weekly dose of news the way you want to hear it. Z89 presents Orange State. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Orange State. I'm your host, Grant Ryan, here in the Z89 studios with Miss Becca Adelot. Hello, hello. Great to have you with us. And listeners, it's so great to have you with us. Today is Friday, and that means it is Newsday here on Z89, where every week Orange State brings you your headlines, your top stories, and some goofy news that maybe you're not too enthused about knowing, but it's funny and, and you'll enjoy it. It's your Friday news fix. It's exactly what it is, your Friday news fix. Check us out, Z89Online.com. Head to the Orange State page. Find some extra content, a little bit of video, a little bit of audio, some pictures. Learn about what the staff is like. You know, it's kind of fun. You're enjoy pretty it. cool. Yeah, you, can see, you see our videos with Anne Maffei. Uh, excuse me, with Anne Maffei. Dan. With Dan Maffei <laughs> and Anne Marie Burkle. I, there, it, the race is so close now, and we'll get into that, that yeah. I literally fused their names. They've they, become one. They <laughs> Maybe they should just do that, Wait and then we can like get going with running the country. Our district could be the first district with a two-headed congressperson. Ooh. That could be interesting. I like it. That could be fun. All right. Enough Frankenstein talk. We passed Ooh. Halloween. Let's get into headlines. And Rashad has joined us in studio to discuss headlines. Yes, I do. I have headlines uh, for this week. So we're going to start it off with, so this year we had a 13-year-old from California who became the youngest person to climb Mount Everest. Now it's possible that a person even younger than 13 could possibly climb uh, Mount Everest. And that a 9-year-old boy from uh, Nepal and his father is like pushing this really, really hard that he can mm -hmm. do it. Now the father is uh, holds the record for the fastest Everest um, climb at eight hours and ten minutes, and he's boasting oh my God. eight hours and ten minutes. I don't know how that's possible. Well, yeah, on, th I, there's so many issues. I there. have a couple of thoughts on this. First off, if you climb Mount Everest at thirteen, pardon the pun, but you've peaked. Yeah. You, no, like, really though. What are you doing no, after that? There's no. There's nowhere further up you can go. It's I mean, like, I'm, I'm full of puns today. But again, like, where? what else can you accomplish Getting in your life? Getting accepted to college is suddenly like, yeah, whatever. No big deal. I climbed Everest. By the way, what a great college essay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh, right? <laughs> absolutely. This kid right? is, I mean, like, he's set. That's it. Done. There, so, again, nine years old, the kid doesn't even, like, you know, He's not old enough to have gone through puberty. Does he even know yeah. how to, like, write in cursive yet? Right. Well, we can't even write his college essay. Like, right. So, like, again, I, I, I forgot a lot of stuff from when I was nine years old. This is something I'm not going to want to forget. Absolutely yeah. not. This and is something that you, like, show off. I climbed Mount Everest. What did you do? Yeah, and, okay, there's right. a couple issues with this, though. The fact that the dad has, like, the fastest record, it's mm -hmm. totally, like, that stage parent thing. You know oh, the yeah, mom totally. who's, like, pushing them and, like, come on, dance for another 12 hours. Right, exactly. But this, and then so I'm kind of worried that, like, not only is he pushing him on the mountain, but he's like, you can go faster. Go fast. You want to be daddy, don't you? <laughs> Get well, it in seven hours. You if, have little legs. If, if there's one country where the people from that country, I would trust them to have their children climb an Everest. It's Nepal. Nepal, the absolutely. Literally, like, the, Sherpa, That's what they do. the Sherpas that go up to the peak with oh the people, like, the crazy millionaires who decide I'm going to do it, they yeah. need oxygen tanks, they right. have, like, state-of-the-art equipment That's and everything. The are for. They do that. No, but then the Sherpas do it with nothing. They're oh, in their, yeah. like, they're, you know, they, tense, yeah. they, they're, they're, they're really rugged. They don't use the oxygen. They just do their own thing. They have, a, like, a spiritual relationship with the mountain. I read a cool book called Into Thin Air. Anyway, the, uh, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, so it's really different. And if, if there's any group of people I would be comfortable saying, all right, go for it, it would be the people that live right there and do that. And it's, like, in their family. Okay, but say you're, like, a millionaire and you're, like, all right, I'm going to climb Everest. And you show up and you got a nine-year-old who's, like, all right, let's go. Right. I've done, know, like, done it twice already this year. What's the big deal? Been man? there, done that. Like, come on, Grandpa, let's go. I'll yeah, race you. Uh, it. This is I, to have a night. I just feel like you're putting your kid in danger at that point. Yeah, right? and that's the thing. Like, what happens if he gets on the mountain and it's like, oh, he really can't climb Everest? Like, what happens if he can't handle it? Is his body like are his lungs big enough to like right. hold enough air to like get him up yeah, the mountain? See, that, that's the issue. That's definitely the issue that a lot of people have brought up. But I mean, first of all, that he the son, the father's already taken the son. Um, to another mountain with a 19,000, a close to 20,000 uh, foot peak, mm -hmm. um, and Mount Everest is 29,000 feet. Oh. So he's already started practicing and he stuff like that. He can go another 8,000 miles. NBD. <laughs> <laughs> no, big, it's just 8,000 feet. You know, with no oxygen. So past Mount Everest um, climbers have experienced like motor skill dysfunction, sleep troubles, oh, and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. And they're full. They're adults. Right now, can you only imagine what would happen to this to this young kid? Um, you know, altitude sickness is something that right. they have to oh. think right. about. I mean, there are a lot of things that they don't know. What what would happen? 
he's nine years old. He's and, nine. Like, nine. I, it's, that's just so. Can he tie young. his shoes? Like, <laughs> gosh. He's, he's, he's got nine. Velcro hiking boots. <laughs> no, imagine if he's like a Boy Scout though. He would get like a serious patch for this. That's it's all I'm not saying. even. It, the, there's nothing you can do in Boy Scouts that would compare to this. He would. Run there's like not. There's nothing else. You know. I mean, he, yeah, you just... You, it lies. Th- that's what I'm saying. It's like, you literally... There's nowhere further that you can go after that. Nowhere. You you peak too early. Everything you after that the is downhill. You the top. It is. It's, Everything after that so is downhill. Cheesy. Gosh, all right, we need to move on. What yes. else do we have for shots? <laughs> Moving on.